What's up guys and welcome to another video. Today I will be going through the beginner's guide to rank up in Red Dead Online. Last week I showed you how to get money in Red Dead and it was heavily requested that I do a beginner's guide to rank up in online. Before we get into the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and also turn on notifications so you can get notified when this video goes live. Pretty much for this video everything that I'm going over has its own separate video. If you would like to go and check that out feel free there is a bunch of videos on my channel a full playlist showing you how to rank up quickly in Red Dead Online. It goes from some obvious stuff, some stuff that's not too obvious and then we've got some glitches as well that you can use but I will show you a couple of them in this video so don't worry about that there are a lot of other stuff you can go and check out though. So the first thing that will give you a ton of XP when starting a new game on Red Dead Online is obviously missions. They're there to show you how the game works, how to get used to the game mechanics, how to get used to the controller, how to get used to it like everything if you're start in fresh but it also gives you some good XP. The mission itself can be done within 10 minutes and from that what you get is round about 200 to 300 XP for actually completing the mission as well as you will get a lot of XP for killing all the people during the mission itself. With all the kills and the added bonus of the XP for completing the mission you're getting round about 5 to 600 XP just for completing the last mission. That's not including the fact that you have to do a bunch of other missions to get to the last mission. You'd have to be honorable dishonorable and you'll go and progress for this whole thing giving you a ton of XP. The second way is to do showdown series and races. Races, we went across this in the money making method for beginners. Races can give you about $10 but also they can give you about 100 to 200 XP which isn't too good but the races normally last about a minute or two. They're really quick and then you do have to wait into the lobby for about another minute so you're getting about 100 XP per minute. If you're anywhere between level 1 and level 10 do Doing races will feel like a quick way to rank up. It will feel like every four or five races what will happen is you will rank up. That's just because you're such a low level. But if you want to rank up even quicker, Showdown Series is a great way to get XP. If you are a good player, what will happen is you'll probably get twice as much as if you was going to do a race. Me personally, I'm not that good at Showdown Series, which means I do not get that much XP from doing it. I think I've won maybe two or three Showdown Series. I've done maybe ten. I'm not too good at it, there are a lot more better players out there than me, so which means when it comes to the free for all, I pretty much just get completely dicked and I'm on the mid table, somewhere around there, meaning that I'll get 3 to 400 XP, but I'm sure the other people at the top are getting 5, maybe 6, maybe even pushing 700 XP just for winning the showdown series of a free for all. If you are a good player, showdown series is a great way to get a ton of XP. If you can get in the top 3, what will happen is you'll get anywhere between 4 to say 800 XP depending on how many players are in the lobby and what the game mode is. The third way to grind out XP is to go and use one of the hiding spots. I have done a ton of different hiding spots on Red Dead Online. I found one in Strawberry the other day and I believe I was one of the first to go and find the Saint Denis method. I didn't say the first but as soon as I showed the Saint Denis method what happened is Mr. Boss Fuller Win uploaded a video three or four days later and he also referenced someone on Reddit that did a post after I uploaded my video. And and then all of a sudden pretty much that Saint Denis method blew up but there are three other ways to go and rank up in Saint Denis there's one in Andersburg and there is also one in Strawberry and I'm sure there are a ton more I've got a lot more coming to this channel in the coming weeks pretty much these locations are just places where you can sit and camp if you go and shoot someone a bunch of guards will come you'll become wanted and they'll try to go and get you but because of where you're sat where you're camping there is only one way in which guards can go and get you. Every time you killed a guard, you would get 5 XP. If you got a special kill with certain ammo, what will happen is you'll get more XP. If you got a headshot, you'll get even more XP. With all those guards, you're probably getting about 10 to 20 XP every time, depending on the weapon that you're using. With this method, you can rank up quite regularly. If you're anywhere between level 1 to, say, 25, you can probably rank up maybe one or two times every hour once you start getting to level 20 to 25. But anything beyond that you're going to be wasting a lot of time just to try and rank up once and it's probably not worth it once you get to 
those later stages, but if you are a low level, this is definitely a good way to rank up. The fourth way to get XP and rank up in Red Dead Online is the exploding fish method. What you want to do is go over to any water, and as soon as you get close to the water, what will happen is fish will spawn in, and you'll get seven or eight fish spawned in really close together. With that, all you want to do is chuck a stick of dynamite in, killing all of them, and that is an award that you're progressing through, which is kill two animals with a single stick of dynamite. Because you've killed eight fish with a single stick of dynamite, what will happen is it will be noted down as four for the award to kill two animals at a time with a single stick of dynamite. Once you get 20, you will get a ton of XP, as well as you can get 20 gold nuggets, and all you have to do is reset that and start that again. You can keep on grinding this out as many times as you want. You'll get a lot of XP. It does not take long to do. If you find a good location to do this, which is preferably close to water, near a fence, you can keep on going to the fence, going to get dynamite, chuck the dynamite in. With the first eight sticks of dynamite, hopefully you can go and get 20 kills and then go back to the fence, restock and reset the award and then go and do it again. You can keep on doing this as a continuous loop to go and get XP. If you are struggling to get fish to bunch together, you can use a carcass of some sort of animal, something preferably that can be put on the back of your horse. As soon as you chuck that down, what will happen is fish will swarm into it, feeding off the carcass and all you have to do is chuck a dynamite right where that deer is and then bang, the fish will be gone. Through doing this, some of the fish you can pick up and store in your satchel, some will be able to be put on the back of your horse. Mainly though, what will happen is the fish will be completely obliterated and it will only progress towards your awards. But with the fish that you do get, you can take back to the butchers, sell them at the butchers and use that money to go and buy more dynamite. You do need to have money to do this method. For every stick of dynamite, you're going to be paying $1 and you can only carry a maximum of 8 So meaning every time you do this, you're going to be spending around about $8 just to go and do it. The fifth way to rank up on Red Dead Online is to use glitch. Is. This glitch has been around from day one and it is still a thing. There are a lot of videos out there showing you the wrong way to do it. Yesterday I did a video showing you the correct way to do it and you can keep on adding to it to get more and more XP every time you do it. To set up this glitch you need to go to one of the previous locations, one of the hiding spots to set this method up. All you need to do is camp there and grind out the kills with different weapons. With the weapons you need them to be 499 kills. Not 500, as soon as you get 500 kills, you will be awarded the award for that certain weapon. If you get 500 kills with a revolver, you'll get the silver award for 500 kills with the revolver. You do not want that, you want 499 kills, so it is one less than the award. If you do this with only one award, you will only get 200 XP, but if you did this with five different awards, you can get 1000 XP just by doing this glitch, and you can keep on repeating this glitch every couple of minutes, and you'll get a thousand XP every time. Once you set everything up, you need to go to a location where there are a bunch of guards. Saint Denis is what I always use. You just need to kill a guard one time with each weapon. So for me, I had a shotgun, a rifle, a revolver, and a bow and arrow where all I needed to do was go and get one kill. So the first person I went up to, I killed with a bow and arrow. Then I used my revolver to kill a second guard. Then I used my shotgun to kill a third guard. And then finally, I I use my bolt action rifle to kill the fourth guard. Once all of those have been done, I will get an award for each and every one that I do, and then all I have to do is disconnect my Xbox from the internet or PlayStation, depending on what you do. I pull out the Ethernet cable, or you can just dashboard your Xbox or PlayStation and then go back into online. By doing this, you will go back into Red Dead Online, you can go and check the awards, and the awards will not have changed. You will still have 499 kills for the revolver the shotgun, the bow and arrow, and the rifle, but you will still have the XP that was awarded to you for doing those awards, which means you'll have an extra 800 XP. You can keep on adding to this, like I said, if you then went on to go and get 499 kills with a melee weapon, and then 499 kills with a pistol, you can go and get another 400 XP. You just need to set them up to have 499 kills, kill someone with that weapon whilst you're wanted, and then dashboard, disconnect, 
close down the application, do whatever, get out of the game, and then go back into the game, and you can go and do this again. Anyway, that is the beginner's guide to rank up in Red Dead Online. We've got some clean ways, we've got some obvious ways, and we've also got some dirty ways, which is a bit of cheating. Don't know whether or not we'll get banned for doing this, but I wanted to show you nevertheless, because it is a way to rank up. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but for now, I'm going. So see ya.